What's going on guys? I'm here with another episode of UFC 3 Career Mode as Mike Tyson. I am so hyped for UFC 4. I cannot wait to play it, record it and bring some content to you guys. But that being said, right now we're playing UFC 3 as Mike Tyson, like I said. And we're going to see if we can continue to tear our way through the heavyweight division. Uh, this is a really short notice fight. I think we have like two weeks to prepare for this. Um, I did. I got the game changer perks. My overhands are going to do more damage, and I did some training on submission defense and grapple stammer as well. So hopefully we're a bit more competent in our grapple game. I'm not really going for a heavy grappler type. I just want to stand and bang. I want to fight like my Tyson. So I'll keep the grapple stammer in case we get taken down. Really worked that submission defense so we can prevent ourselves being taken down. And we're really working on our stand-up game. So uh, let's get right into the fight, guys. I'll meet you at the tail of the tape. For this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. So here we are for the first fight of the episodes. I have no idea. I recorded this weeks ago, guys, so I don't even know how this fight goes. I can't remember. Big tee off already. As uh Contest just said, it's our first fight on the main card. And we've already dropped him against the cage. So, uh, do some work in the clinch, some shoulder shrugs. He does reverse us. So we'll uh, work on his legs a bit. Got a few head strikes. But he gets double underhooks, so we're going to break this before he uh, body clinches us, or body lock, I should say. He tries to feint him with a kick. Just trade blows there. Nice uh, uppercut under the chin there, under the guard. Really throwing a lot of uppercuts. I've got to remember not to headhunt so much. I've got to work his body as well. But, uh, this guy's doing very well at preventing us from throwing any big strikes at the minute. Just breaking us up with jabs. Big overhand as him rocks. He is wobbly. He meant to throw an uppercut, but we got a leg kick. Oh well. He shoves us away. Work that body. Keep marching forward. He's rocked again with an uppercut. Let's try and finish this. Stay in that phone booth. Stay in that phone booth. There we go. Fight on that napkin. Just trading punches. He's getting messed up. Just missed that uppercut there. Trying our best to drop him, but he's defending really well, all things considered. But there we go. He's dropped with an overhand hook. There we go. Like that body uppercut again has him rocked. Drop him with a cross, and it's all over. It's all over. First fight on the main card, and we deliver. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, one fight down. Let's see how many we can do in this episode. I'm thinking, depending on how long they are, I want three or four maybe. But uh, we'll see how we do. Lovely cross there to drop him against the cage. Nice easy win. I'll see you guys at the next fight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Okay, so here we go, fight number two, guys. We're facing Fabricio Verdun. No touch of gloves there. Starting off the moping combo and dropping within 10 seconds. Uh, we've been training really hard for this fight, it's been a six week camp. Um, my other option for this fight would have been JDS, um, but this fight had higher hype so I couldn't resist really. Uh, the first week was literally all promotion work. I worked on grapple stamina and submission defense for pretty much all week two, which I might need since he just took me down, let's get out of this spot. Um, but blocking toughness and heart was what I did for the remaining four weeks. So uh, our striking's a lot better, hopefully. I mean, I say a lot better. It should be the best it can be. We are all striker. Drop him again. Is that it? Nope, he gets up. Right. I want to get out of the clinch. I'm not even throwing strikes. Drop him straight back down. And now it's over. That was a very quick and clean fight versus uh, Fabrizio. I'm kind of underwhelmed. 
six weeks for that, but uh, oh well, what can you do? I was expecting to uh, have to defend some submissions, that's quite why I was quite afraid when he took me down and why I didn't want to engage in the clinch too much. But um, yeah, two fights down at this rate guys, we might even like get a belt before I finish this episode. Another first round knockout. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the third fight for this episode. Well, 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 guys, as you can see, for UFC 255, we are the co-main event. We've got Cody Garbrandt versus Sean O'Malley for the Bantamweight title. And we are Tyson Fury versus Curtis Blades. We're co-main event in our first UFC pay-per-view. We are making headway, guys. We are finally getting into the title picture. I'm actually starting to get excited now. And now our kill the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Okay, here we go. Probably the biggest fight of our career in MMA so far. So with Curtis Blades, he has been Let's just work our way in. Throw some crosses. So far he's lighting me up and uh, I'm struggling a bit, but let's get into the groove a bit. Kicks us away, but he's hold firm, that's a huge hook, as in rock. He shoots the takedown and he gets it. Right, let's get straight to our feet, let's not mess around here. Uh, for this one we've worked pretty entirely on takedown defense, which you probably couldn't tell from that. Um, bottom game and submission defense as well. And we managed to get it to high fight hype, that's a very good uh, stuff for the takedown there, we stopped that. Come on, dude, get up. I'm not jumping on you, get up. There we go. Didn't mean to throw that. There we go. Cross this to the... Cross, I mean, hooks to the body. There we go. Just going clean now. Throw some cut, hook combos. I can't speak. Stuff that takedown. I was just about to go for an uppercut as well, so... He just got that through. He dropped him against the cage. He's going to make it to his feet. Let's uh, work the body a bit. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. And I think we'll break it there. There we go, work that body. Clinches again. He stuffs the break. And he gets the trip. Okay, let's get straight back to our feet though. I'm not having any of that. Oof. He gets another takedown. He's uh, really controlling this fight at the minute with his takedowns. He's trying to put out our fire a little bit. We're holding firm. Keep getting back to our feet. Some uh, good hook combos between us both now. Just over two minutes to go. Didn't mean to leg kick, but oh well. Nope, I don't think so. We'll stuff that one. There we go. go Back to feet. And you're just going to lie there, aren't you? Come on. What if we go for stack? Nope, doesn't want it. Alright, I'm just going to break. I'm going to back off. There we go. Back to the feet now. Oof, trading hooks there. Oh shit, he dropped me. That was a well timed uppercut there. That's it. Tyson Fury's got that chin straight to his, straight to his uh, feet. I said Tyson Fury, didn't I? I mean Mike Tyson. I don't know how many times I said Tyson Fury instead of Mike Tyson. Probably a few. There we go. Definitely give us the uh, hardest fight so far of this episode. Drop him with a hook though, it's all over. 45 seconds to go and he is finished against the cage like everyone else. That, that's how we do it. We've got a bit of a black eye there, but you know what, other than that, solid, clean, easy fight. Definitely the hardest fight so far, but uh, look at that, huge hook. Drops him right against the cage. Nice and easy, guys. One more fight, I think, for this episode, and uh, I think we'll call it there. Leave a like if you're enjoying this content, by the way, guys. It really does mean a lot. So we're back for one more fight and look at that, UFC 258, so just three pay-per-views later, three months later, and we're fighting in the co-main event again. We're fighting Andrea Ovlovsky, um, obviously the headline event is Woodley vs Lombard for the welterweight title. So uh, we're fighting in Satama, Japan, let's see how this fight goes.
I'm Megan O'Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. This weekend, we brace for a crucial matchup, which is expected to shake up an entire division. To get into position for a world title shot, this fighter has fought tooth and nail against the best the heavyweight division has to offer. And while getting into a number one contender's match is sweet enough, if this fighter beats his heated rival to earn that shot at the belt, the victory would be even more satisfying. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Okay, so in order to sort of psych myself up for this last fight, this rivalry fight as a contender, so this will bump me up to the next tier, which is top contender. Uh, I decide to just let the whole thing roll. I'm just going to see what Bruce Buff says, let him introduce us and everything. Should be good. Hopefully, hopefully we win this clean. If not, we've got another four fights before we get another shot at this. But I trust in ourselves. We've got that knockout power. If we can put him away in the first round, I will be over the moon. If not, I think second. But if it goes into the third round, we might be in a bit of trouble. But uh, like I said, hopefully uh, all the fights this episode has been a, a trend, a message of what's to come. And hopefully we get another first round knockout in this rivalry fight. Look at that. 37 uh, wins, 19 losses. You have been busy. I mean, I know you're the former champion and everything, but... Whew. And Mario Yamasaki is the ref. Okay, okay. I can think of worse refs. Obviously Herb Dean last week had a bit of a, a late stoppage. A couple of them, actually. See uh, how Mr. Mario Yamasaki does for stoppages. Trading blows already. I threw an elbow there, I think. I didn't mean to. Back to the jab now, no good. Just throw some jabs and crosses. Nice jab. There we go. Let's trade, let's trade, let's do it. Come on, bro, show me what you got. So far, I'm just pushing him against the cage, and he's got nothing. Drop him already. Come on, dude, it's not even been a minute yet, and he's dropped it twice. You're in a lot of trouble right now. Work that body. Work the body, come up top. Come on, some of us are getting through, come on. He's got to be more aggressive, because right now I'm controlling this fight. Alright, let's work that by his headhunt a little bit there. Oh, he tries an oblique leg kick. I don't think so, buddy. Work that body. Oh, huge uppercut through the guard, and it's over. Less than two minutes to knock out. The former champion. Clean fight. That was clean. I think we got a, a little cut on our eyebrow there. So all right. that, that looks a little rough, but other than that, that was solid win. Look at that. Clean between his hands. He didn't even see that coming. He just saw this fist come out of nowhere. That was a beautiful combination, if I do say so myself. I'm very happy with that. Another clean win. And guys, that's going to do it for another episode. We are back on the win streak. Let's see if we can get a belt soon. I'm dead happy with that result. Guys, leave a like if you enjoyed that fight. If you didn't, by all means, guys, feel free to leave a dislike if you did not enjoy this video. I don't mind. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, any suggestions, maybe another celebrity or something you would like to see have a UFC 3 career mode, please let me know in the comments down below. And... You know, if I get an idea, if I see a celebrity that I'd like to create an avatar for and do a career mode, I will do it. I will make a full series for you guys. And guys, if you do want to stay up to date with all my content, I know my uploads have slowed down a little bit, but please do subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Let's just look at the stats here. He didn't really throw much in the way of offense, and I completely obliterated him. That, that was a good fight. I don't think we took a lot of damage there, if any. I mean, look at that tiny smidgen of head health. The tiniest bit of body and one leg was slightly bruised. Which I probably did myself. And we are one knockout away from getting the most knockouts in UFC history. We failed one of our contract goals, but we do break into the top five. And we beat our rival. Longevity is still looking good. 
still mostly in the green, so uh, can't argue with that. I think we've got a little bit of uh, housekeeping to do, some response to some comments, which I'll, I'm going to include in the video, guys. But uh, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that one, definitely. And here we go, Megan Levy going at Iron Mike. Big win tonight. How do you see the fight with the champ playing out? It, it's going to be a tough fight, but these are challenges I love. Hashtag can't wait. We're going to be humble here. We're going to be humble. And Stipe Miocic, the champion himself, goes, I'm the champ and I'm going to stay the champ. But let's put on a show for these fans at Iron Mike. It's going to be fun. I can't wait for fight night. You know what? That is a good champ. He is respectful. He's like, I'm going to win. He's confident. He says he's going to win. He thinks he's going to win. But he just wants to put on a good show for the crowd. So fair play, Stipe. We're going to make this a good fight. See if you can get out the first round with me. We are now a top contender. We're in the top five. And in three fights time, we might have a belt. In After two more fights, we're going to be fighting the champion, Stipe Miocic. This should be amazing. I'm going to stim that recovery, guys. But I'm going to leave it there. Like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. If you didn't, feel free to leave it a dislike. Comment and subscribe to the channel, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hope you all have a wonderful day.